Hello my friends, I'm Lucas and you are watching How to Paint series. Today I'm going to show the wheels and trucks I've prepared for Merkava 2D. I want them to have a relatively dry appearance without a lot of mud because the model will be placed on a base with an asphalt road, so I assume that the mud would crumble while driving. Ok. It's possible that you have seen these shots while watching the episode about Merkava painting, but to make sense in this episode, I have to repeat it for those who haven't seen it yet. So, I painted all the rubber rims with a brush using the proven AK 3G series paint. The color is appropriate that is not black and looks perfect after weathering. I painted all the rims by hand. And now you can clearly see how convenient it is to attach the wheel to a wooden stick. It can be easily manipulated during painting and set at the right angle. A few of the wheels are completely steel, so I painted the rims silver, which will later be treated with a pencil and rubber tip. Of course the drive wheels and their teeth have also been painted. It's worth looking at how deeply the paint peels off the teeth and which places are polished to avoid overdoing it with the amount of metallic shine. Make sure to like and subscribe. Now some characteristic red markings on the wheels, which are also added on the other parts of the vehicle. I mean red markings, of course. It's easy to notice in the pictures that the bolt on the axle cover is marked in red. This painting is far from perfect and you can often see how poorly the soldiers did it. Therefore I didn't attach too much importance to the perfect coverage of these elements. In addition I painted the balls on some wheels with silver paint, which added a bit of variety to the final look. And this is how almost the entire model looks like, ready for weathering. Of course, trucks are missing. For the wash I used black brown from Modeler's Vault and the thinner. As you can see the bottles have a dropper and this is a great solution because I'm sure that I won't spill too much of the product. Besides, even if we forget to close the bottle and turn it over, we won't flood the entire table. As you can see the wash spreads nicely on the surfaces despite the fact that they weren't covered with glossy varnish. I did it because of several reasons. First of all, the subsequent layers will cover almost the entire wash, so you can even risk skip this step. I know it may sound strange, but in a moment you will see that the next stages of weathering will cover what I'm doing now, especially the pigments. Secondly, the texture of the paint seems pretty good to me, so the wash should flow around the details and in the nooks and crannies quite well. Third, I save time for painting. I have to admit that I didn't even pick up an excess and didn't clean them at all because I knew they would be dirty. Of course you can speed up the drying with an accelerator. So now it's the trucks time. The whole set is from Master Club. I covered both pieces with black AK primer and now add some weathering. Maybe you will be surprised, but I won't paint them at all. I will use black as a base color. 
I have prepared a sophisticated sanding tool. I stuck sandpaper to it and I can evenly strip the primer coat from the edges of each link. You can do it this way or by holding a piece of sandpaper between your fingers. You can also try mechanical methods, but I don't recommend this solution because it's easy to damage the links. For me the best is the first way, the fastest and the most convenient. Well, this is how prepared trucks with polished outer edges look like. Pretty cool. What's next? I checked how much inside surface should be polished by all types of wheels. Just in the case of these trucks won't be a problem. Here you can also use a sandpaper, but I prefer polishing with a pencil and a silicon tip. The effects are great, the paint stays in place, the work is relatively clean and quick. Of course the guy thief mustn't be forgotten. The effects are great, the paint stays in place, the work is relatively clean and quick. I'm really happy with the results. I walked away from the trucks for a moment and with a pencil and a silicon tip in hand took care of the steel wheels. The previously painted silver paint was a perfect undercoat and a bit of graphite did a good job of all the surfaces polished by the trucks while driving. And we go back to the trucks. I decided to sand before applying the mud because of the fine particles of metal that appeared on the surface after this action. They definitely must be removed. A small portable vacuum cleaner is good to do it, but it's also worth rubbing it with a brush. Removing them from the dried mud or dust would be much more difficult and even if now something is left, it will be covered by a layer of dust that I'm about to start applying. Hope it's clear and I explained it enough. To prepare the right color I used three modelers world products. 3 drops of asphalt street dirt, 5 drops of sand dust and 2 drops of dark rust. I mixed everything up and began to apply with an old brush to the outside of the trucks. It's clearly seen that the accuracy is far from this, but it's not a point. Here the most important is the overall effect. It's worth using the accelerator to make the drying time shorter. After the first layer you can already see a big difference. Here you can compare the truck with one layer and without dust. And now two layers on the left and one layer on the right. Somehow it happens that I didn't record how I paint the inside of the trucks. But this trace on the path shows that it was airbrush applied mainly on the edges. I added five drops of water to the mixed color for easier flow. Two layers were sufficient and after drying with the accelerator again, I started to clean the previously polished marks with cotton buds. The shine can be tweaked here and there, but it isn't necessary. Time for wheels. Again I prepared the color mixture identical to the previous one with the addition of water, because I will apply it to the wheels with an airbrush.
Note that I do this fairly quickly, even if you consider that the movie is a bit sped up. It's generally a matter of dust, not a complete color change. In addition, the pigment will do a lot of work here in a moment. So more airbrushing fun is not necessary. Once again the wooden sticks show how useful they are. I quickly dried up the wheels with the accelerator. My hold mate holder is perfect for this. And now comes the fun of giving the right character to the wheels. The assumption is that the amount of pigment needs to be minimal, but it's also important to add interesting effects to the surface of the whole wheels, including rubber bandages. I glued the pigment with pigment cement and white spirit. I tried to make the wheels look absorbing. If you've been watching my movies for some time, you probably know that I have a habit of wiping the wheels with my fingers, so I did the same here to get rid of the pigment excess but still left them dusty. Having couple seconds of break, I would like to say thank you to my patrons. You can also be one of them, so now it's the best moment to join the team and support my work. Just look at my website on Patreon, you can find the link at the end of this video and in the description below. And this is the set of wheels ready for the final touches. The last detail I added were oil stains around the wheel axles. One for each side is more than enough. In addition, by speckling I added some small spots that further enrich the look of the whole wheel. To sum up, I think I managed to achieve my goal and the wheels and trucks look very natural. Let me know what do you think in the comments, I am very curious about your opinion. As you can see, the whole process is very simple and the most important thing is to be moderate if you want the chassis not to be clogged with mud. If possible, check the real vehicles in the photos and draw conclusions. Try to copy, but remember that the model won't look good if we accurately reproduce the dirt from a real vehicle. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. If you found this video helpful and like it, don't forget to click thumb up. Please consider subscribing to the channel to support my work. Stay tuned for the next episode about Merkava. That's all for today. Cheers!